Good morning and welcome to the Vineyard. I'm James Barkas. We want to thank you for joining us this morning as we celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday weekend and close it out. I'm thankful for all of you that watch and learn the Word of God as it is written. And I thank you for this. Our regular service times are Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Sunday night, 7 p.m., and Wednesday night, 7 p.m. However, I want to highlight the Christmas season coming up, and I'm going to show it to you very, very shortly. And this is how we're going to do this here. From December 18th to January 8th, we will shift our schedule from our normal schedule to prepare for New Year's watch night service to ring in the new year, December 31st and January 1st. It'll be about three to four hours of preaching, teaching, um, we'll do our best to sing some hymns as well as we ring in the new year. We will pre-tape the Christmas service sometime between now and December 25th. We'll upload it to YouTube and it will set to premiere December 25th starting at 6 a.m. so that it will be up and premiere at the time you wake up or by the time you wake up and enjoy Christmas with the family turn on afterward and watch the vineyard and listen to the miracle of Jesus' birth and the story of Jesus' birth. We know um, that December 25th is the ob observance of his birth at that date. But we also know that where Jesus was born was quite arid. Um, And it was cold at night, but it was warm during the day. So, December 18th, again, will be the last regularly scheduled service during the evening time. And we will pre-take Christmas service sometime before and set it to premiere as a Sunday Christmas Day service. Uh, but Merry Christmas to all of you from JBM, James Barkus Ministries Network, and The Vineyard, which is the program that we're in today. Good morning, I'm James Barkus. I am founder and evangelist here at James Barkus Ministries Network. Um, this is a time of thanksgiving. And we give thanks to you, but we also know that, you know, although I find free resources to use, such as OBS Studio and purchased stuff of my own, which is the camera, the microphone, and what have you. Oh, speaking of microphone, I do need to add that to our arsenal right now. Thank you so much, Self, for reminding me of that. So, I know we have all this that we put on. I 
and sorry I was off for a moment. This is, you know, what we do, or try to do, try to take care of it as we would, as best as we can. So, right now, with that being said as well, we are in the midst, you know, I'm thankful I got a new job and I start on Monday. I hope you're thankful for a lot of things, but here's ways to bless the ministry. If you're thankful for this ministry and you want to bless it, there it is. James Sparkus Ministries, P.O. Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. That's where you send your check or money order to. If you send a package, UPS, United States Postal Service, FedEx, or hand delivery, you can send those packages like cases of Bibles or what have you to James Sparkus Ministries, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. The United States Postal Service will forward it to our P.O. box that will be held at the post office and then I go up and pick it up. Prayer requests and testimonies, jbmprayeratlive.com. We have made the exit from Twitter. Number one, character limits. Number two, the conduct of their current owner. Uh, those are the two reasons we exited. Uh, so, no character limits with our email and no character limits with our um, prayer requests and testimony. Um, forgive me on this. Really? I'm thankful Walmart is sending some stuff ahead of time. They say it's out for delivery today. So, I'm thankful... That's some stuff my wife and I have purchased is now on their way. So we're going to praise the Lord on this. Hallelujah. It's out for delivery. Well, I'll be. Exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. Hallelujah. So, forgive me on that. Thankful for Walmart doing something right and getting stuff sent out today rather than tomorrow. When I'll be in the midst of my first day of the new job. Praise the Lord. But send it to us if you have packages like cases of Bibles or whatever that are collecting dust. Bring it to us at the house. Send it to us. And we will gladly take it and thank God for it. Anyway. There are a couple of places we're going to cover this morning. There are a couple of places we are going to cover this morning, and the big reason for that is the Lord has laid it on my heart about Thanksgiving. I know I've preached on it before, Psalm 136. As we go to screen right now, put that on the air. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. For His mercy endureth forever. 
I start to give it in cadence because of the other things we should be thankful for that the Israelites are thankful for. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. We're going to keep going on this. Uh, We're not done yet. We're going to keep going on this. And I know I wear a couple of microphones and speak into a microphone and it captures my audio. So that was good. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made great lights for his mercy endureth forever. To the sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. And it's starting to get a cadence here. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. And it, but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for, to, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, the king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even a heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever, who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. We're thankful. We're thankful for our family. We're thankful for what we've received. Lisa and I are thankful for this place that's over our head. Yes, I pay the rent on it. And yes, we pay the bills. But we're also thankful. We're thankful for what we do have. We're thankful for what we have, which is the union together. We've been married almost three years now. And it's not that we haven't been tested. Oh yes, we have been tried by fire. We have been tried by the fire. We've had situations happen both with our health and with our patience with each other. I'm not an easy man. Because I take the old adage, for whom much is given, much is expected. And that is the tenor. I put a lot of expectations on myself. I freely admit that. And sometimes... That expectation can be a good thing, and sometimes that expectation is not so good. Do you ever have times, 
you overwhelm yourself? Do you ever have times that you feel like I can't do this? Well, today, we're in the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament is just as much part of your journey as the New Testament is. That is one thing I will not shy away from. Is to have the New Covenant, you have to go by the Old Covenant as well. A lot of things with the Old Covenant... Yes, there have been adjustments made to it. But guess what? The principles in Proverbs, in Psalms, and in Proverbs, in Psalms, and other books of the Old Testament, yes, you do have an obligation to learn this. Because you have to keep the whole Word of God. Proverbs 7 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law is the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy fingers. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, hallelujah, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister. And call understanding thy kinsman, kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner as he went the way to her house. In the twilight in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without. Now is she without. Now in the streets and lieth and wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an imprudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day. I have paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with mirror, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the goodman is not at home, he is gone. A long journey. He hath taken the bag of money with him, and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hasteth to its snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Do not astray in her paths. For she hath cast down many wounded, Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. 
And the lesson in that, do not go to Babylon. Do not go the way of Babylon. Well, we see in the book of Revelation what happens with Babylon the great mystery, the harlot, the seducer, the seductress. We see what happens in the book of Revelation. What happens with the harlot. Babylon. All of the books of the Bible link to each other. Just a moment. Second Timothy 2 and 14, 15 and 16 Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. In verse 17, and the word, their word will eat as doth they canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. How easy is it that a preacher of the word who broadcasts on television worldwide and has done so as long as some have been could take the word of God and twist it so they earn or bring in a copious amount of money to live a lavish lifestyle. The Word of God is meant to bless everyone. Not just financially, but in the mode of health. In the mode of blessing. In the mode of family. In the mode of other intangibles. But yet we see an obsession with money because man has made money their God. Not Jehovah. Jehovah is our Father in heaven. His Son is Jesus Christ. And the Holy Ghost is that spirit of truth that dwells with us from the day of our salvation. Friends, I tell you, Man has made money their God when all it is is a tool of the trade. Let me say that again. Man has made money their God and not the tool of the trade.
Money does nothing. Cannot add a cubit to your height. Cannot add a hair to your stature. Money is a tool of the trade. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. We run from that harlot, Babylon the Great. We seek not to make money the God, nor do we make Babylon the Great, the harlot, a mistress over us. Matthew 6, 33, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all else shall be added unto thee. We make the Lord and Savior our Lord and Savior. Not money, not fame, not politicians. We seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all else shall be added unto us. Who are we thankful for? <coughs> In all actuality, who are we thankful for? I am thankful to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I am thankful to Jehovah, the Father in Heaven who created this universe. And I am thankful to the Holy Ghost for giving me the Spirit of Truth, for calling me into this ministry so that I may bring you the truth. Were it not for that day in 1996, the day that I got saved, I didn't even know where I was going to do anything at. I'm so new to it. But in 2005, I got called to preach and teach the Word because a stirring in my soul said, they don't get it. Benny Hinn don't get it. Others don't get it because they're making money. They're gone. But I make the Word my God, the Word, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Jehovah, my Father in Heaven, your Father in Heaven. When you accept salvation, Jehovah becomes your Father in Heaven. And Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. And on the day that they put a crown on my head, I will walk over to Jesus and I will say, Jesus, I have been wanting this for a long time, a hug from you. Put your loving arms around me, Lord Jesus. Pour my tears. Of joy and of thanksgiving. will find their way
my tears of joy and thanksgiving will find their way to Him. And I will bless the Lord for saving me and for calling me to His work. And then I will set my crown on His feet and say, Lord Jesus, I'm not worthy to wear this crown on my head. I only serve You as I have done in this world. I do so when that time comes as well. I want Jesus to hug my soul even today. To feel His presence every day and to be a blessing to others no matter what I do. I want to be used to Jesus. So, It is that time. Hebrews 12, 28. Wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. God is a consuming fire. We've reached that time. Have you just reached a crossroads of some kind? in your life. Have you just reached a point in your life you're thinking to yourself, I've tried everything to be successful. I've tried everything to keep my wife. I've tried everything to do on my own what well, I should have had your help with Lord Jesus if you've said yes if you said yes to this we're going down the path I went down for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God Romans 3.23 Romans 6.23 tells us for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5.8 But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us. You see that middle cross in that hanging right there? That is where Jesus Christ was. His hands were nailed on that cross member. His feet were staked. He had a crown of thorns on his head. His back was just in ribbons. If you saw the Passion of the Christ, that was bad, but it was toned down. 
Romans 10, 9 through 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, right here in your chest, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, that's right here, my mouth moving. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's time to call him. This time of year we've seen people die. I read a story of mother who's also a paramedic in Canada, unknowingly helped keep her daughter alive, but knew a family was going to lose their daughter, granddaughter, sister, cousin, niece. When she got home from that call, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police was at her door. She got the knock on the door that it was her daughter. The mother gave the greatest love to her daughter with the medical training she had. Jesus Christ gave the greatest love of all when he stretched his arms wide on that cross. And paid the price for you and for me and for everyone else. Oh friends, I do this every week, almost every week. There have been some stretches that I was out for medical reasons. But every week that I've done a broadcast, almost every week that I've done a broadcast, I call on the Lord to help those who need Him. And it's for that love. It is for that love that I reach out and say, take His hand. Take his hand. He's holding his hands out to take you from that miry clay and to put you on solid rock. So, Heavenly Father, all of you that don't know how to pray, the sinner's prayer. Follow my lead, if you will. Jehovah, I am a sinner. I am lost without you. Father, I come to you. And I seek that way out. Father, I need your help. I need the Lord Jesus Christ to be with me and to get me out of the situation that I'm in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you. To reach for his hands. Nail scarred. And to. 
get out of this miry clay that I'm in and get on that solid rock. Jesus, I need you in my life. Jesus, I want you in my life. I freely acknowledge, Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior in whom I can trust. And I ask right now the Holy Spirit be sent to me. Father, let the Holy Spirit let your will be done in my life as it's done in this man's life. This man preaching and teaching the Word of God. And Father, just ask you right now, lead me and guide me and use me and fill me with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray I receive it. And I am born again into the kingdom of God. And all God's children say amen. Amen and amen. Now, Heavenly Father, I come to you as only a servant should. And I ask you that those that pray that prayer with me be filled right now from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet and everywhere in between with the Holy Ghost. And that Jesus Christ pull them out of that miry clay and put them on that solid foundation and teach them and lead them to do great things. Heavenly Father, it's in the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you prayed that sinner's prayer, welcome to the brotherhood and sisterhood of Jesus Christ. I welcome you with open arms. Welcome. Welcome indeed. Hallelujah. As you know, our regular service times are Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Sunday night, 7 p.m., and Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, this is a special note from December 18th to January 8th. We will shift our schedule from our normal schedule to prepare for a New Year's watch night service to ring in the new year, December 31st and January 1st. It'll start Saturday night about 9 o'clock and run until we just glorify God. December 18th will be the last regularly scheduled service during the evening service. We will pre-tape the Christmas service sometime before and set it to premiere as a Sunday Christmas Day service. We want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the James Barkus Ministries Network and the Vineyard. If you'd like to give tithe and offering and what have you to us, send it to James Barkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Packages like cases of Bibles or what have you, send them to 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. You can use UPS, FedEx, hand deliver it, or U.S. Postal Service. Just know that if you do use the U.S. Postal Service, it will be forwarded to our P.O. Box, so it will be held at the post office. If you got prayer request testimony, jbmprayer at live.com I want to hear from you I read the email every day and booking for special events and revivals if you have it for us jbmworldhq at live.com I want to thank you so much for joining us on the vineyard I pray you have a great day I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you and guide you wherever you are in your journey, may God richly bless you and keep you. Again, have a great day, everyone.